2013 is being dubbed by some as the year of comets because we've got two pretty special ones on their way. Comet Panstars coming this month and then Comet Ison later in the year. First of all though, what actually are comets? Well, they're thought to come from two different regions of the solar system. Uh, the first, short period comets, ones that we see again and again from every few years to up to about 200. They come from what's called the Kuiper Belt. This is a region beyond the orbit of Neptune that is a bit like the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, except it's 20 times bigger. And it contains Pluto. On the other hand, long period comets are thought to come from the Oort cloud, a giant sphere that we think surrounds the solar system full of icy bodies, which is some 50,000 times the distance between the Earth and the Sun away from us. The comets themselves are irregularly shaped bodies, about 100 metres to 40 kilometres across, made of rock, ice and dust. Now in the ice you can have frozen materials as well, such as gases, as well as the ingredients for life, organic compounds. And that's really all comets are far away from the sun and they're almost impossible to detect because all the interesting stuff happens when they get a lot closer. As comets approach the sun, the ice can vaporise as well as the frozen material and it streams out of the comet's nucleus. That gives it a sort of atmosphere that we call a coma. Now it's this coma that then gets swept back by the sun's radiation pressure and the solar wind to form these massive tails that you associate normally with comets. In fact, actually, there's usually two tails. There's an ion tail formed of charged particles and a dust tail too, and you can usually spot the two apart using a telescope. So what about these two comets this year? Well, first up you have comet Panstars, which you need to look out for from about 7th of March onwards. It was first detected in 2011 by the Panstars telescope in Hawaii. It's all right for some. And it's one of these long period comets, so it's not gonna be back again for another 110,000 years. So you might wanna watch it this time, right? Later in the year though, around November, December time, it's all about Comet Ison. And this is the one they're calling the Comet of the Century because it is gonna get extremely close to the sun, some 1.1 million miles away. That is close when you're talking about comets. Because it's gonna get so close, they expect it to be really, really bright, as long as it doesn't completely vaporize. And they think you might be able to see it with the naked eye across the globe. So it's certainly worth looking out for. I hope you're going to be watching the night skies all this year. Don't follow anybody on Twitter. Just follow us. We've got all the good bits.